hi everyone um another important functions which i want to take you through is called style in excel uh, style in excel is one of the most important function in excel that you can use to design and design as well as formatting yourself in the best way that you want the cells to look like it's one of the most formidable uh, function in excel that allow you to color a cell create a kind of beautiful designs and before creating a kind of beautiful designs that you can use to present to every anybody that you want to present the data to and today we just want to take you through uh, uh, another important function called star but now today we just want to touch um, go through what they call um, a conditional functioning which is uh, a conditional functioning and um, if for you to able to do styles you have to look at the uh, home tab from the home tab if you click the home tab if you throw your mouse to the right you will still a panel called style and we're going to touch the uh, conditional formatting uh, we're going to touch each one of these um, the top bottoms rules the data bar the columns scales the icon sets and from there once we finish then we're going to have to look at the format as a table then but let's immediately jump into uh, what they call conditional formatting but under the conditional formatting today we just want to touch the highlight cell rules uh, we have about uh, greater than less than between equal text that contain a date occurring and duplicate values uh, these are the these are six up to seven uh, function in excel that we want to uh, go through under the highlight sales rules today and i've already created another nice beautiful data and you can see you have the product name the descriptions the amount we have different amounts here um, just let's assume that this is amount one this is amount two and this is amount three and this is the date so we just have to create a kind of font kind of uh current date or forthcoming days uh where we can use all these all these functions in excel under the tab highlight sales rules and as i said what um what conditional function does you can see it easily spot trade and patterns in your data using bars columns and icons to visually highlight the important values so what it use it does is that it use if you look going to your data uh, you can color the data uh, without actually going through the color uh, sections under the front um, you can also use a kind of uh, a kind of uh, a data a pattern or a trend that you want to be able to identify it on the cell, uh, which is extremely very one of the most important uh, function in Excel. Uh, it's more or less designing the Excel, making it look beautiful and see how it works. Let's quickly go into this highlight sales rules. The first one we want to quickly touch is greater than. Uh, let's quickly highlight that, greater than. So let's quickly go to an Excel, how to use a greater than. And uh, let's assume that you have this bunch of data um imagine the exercise assuming that you want to highlight from from the bar which is uh, uh b24 up to the end of this data which is g38 you've highlighted those data, and what you want to use you want to see how you can apply a greater rules in order to create a kind of formatting a conditional formatting in order to highlight the sales rules so what you need to do uh, you go to the star bar panel. If you click the star bar panel under the 
conditional formatting, you will see the highlight cells rules. Then you click this greater than. You can see here at the right at the sub at the sub drop down under the highlight cells rules, you see greater than. If you click that, you see what it does is automatically generate some kind of uh I highlight something for us. So but this time around, we just want to look at numbers. Let's assume I just want to look at the numbers. Uh, any numbers that is greater than, uh, let's assume I want you to highlight any number that is greater than 2, 2, 10. I want you to highlight any number that's greater than 2, 10. So, so what it does, you can see here, it's gone into this bar. Is highlighted all the numbers that is above uh, above 210 and it left 300, 280, and 268. Let's assume that you go back and you just want to, uh, let's assume that you look at the amount A. You want to use an amount A under greater than. So you go to the uh, conditional format under this type panel, greater than. So what you need to do, let's assume that you want to aim to highlight any numbers that is above 400. So you can see here, it will highlight any numbers that is above 400. So any number that's from 400 upward, it will highlight. So this is how to use uh, greater than uh, uh, greater than in Excel under the highlight sales rules. So another rules you can also create it in Excel. So let's let's remove this format. Let's clear this. Every time you want to clear a format, you go to the same situation, uh, the same conditional format. You clear the rules, and if you click, it, the rules will disappear. So let's go to another uh, sales rule, which is uh, less than. And to use a less than, what you need to also need to do. Let's assume that you highlight each all these cell. Uh, from a from amount one to amount three and you go to want to use a less than so you go to the conditional format and you click the highlight search rules and you can see a less than if you click that so it automat automatically because that's what we have before so you want to have any amount that is less than you want it to highlight any amount that is less than 300 or any amount that is less than 350 so what it's going to do, it will highlight any amount that is up to 350, less than or equal to 350. So if you, you can also use different colors. You can use yellows. You can use fill it with light colors, light red. You can also use the, uh, the, the red uh, uh, borders. So it depends on how you want to use it. So because this, you can use this kind of uh, uh, things. Just like take for example, you are having a lot of data in your in your in your in your Excel, and you are not sure. I just want Excel to look look at each one of these data. Can you return any numbers that is below this particular numbers or equal to this number? So this is how to use uh, a less than uh, rule sales rules uh, in Excel. And another thing you want to use between. Let's go to in between. Uh, let's remove these rules again. Uh, let's highlight these rules and clear the rules. Anytime you want to clear the rules, you clear the rules from the selected cell. Now, let's assume that you highlight the numbers again. You want to find any numbers. You can specify any numbers you want to find in between. Go to the highlight cells rules and look at the between. See? So we are looking for numbers. We want you to highlight any numbers. Uh, between 289 to, uh, to, three, to, to 350 to 389. So you want it to highlight any numbers. You can see here, this is how to use. So he has done, he, the num, he selected the number between, uh, the numbers selected is between uh, what we specified, uh, between 300 to three something so you can see here he has specified that from this data this is all the numbers that is in between that uh, uh, in between that sales rules
and this is how to use between sales rules another sales rules which we have to is equal to let's remove this and change this remove this clear the format again I have to clear the format okay yes now let's go back to the equal to uh, under the equals to, to sales rules uh, this then what you need to do this has mean that you are like the cell that you want to add the equal to under the sales rules you go to the style panels again go to the uh, highlight sales rules again and go to equal to if you click equal to so what we want to do uh, what we are looking for we want you to look into this database and find any amount that is equal to that is equal to 610 or uh, so you can see here so you look here this is the only amount that's equal to 660 so this is how to use you can see here you managed to find two amounts equal to 660 so sometime imagine if you have a lot of data as i indicated and you want to find any actual amount that is equal to what you specified so this is how you can put a sales rules on your database and it will definitely go into the database and it will look for that particular numbers and it will and it give and you highlight it so this how to create another rules um, on on your excel sheet so and uh, let's go to another rules which is uh, uh, we've done the, so let's go to text that contain under this text that contain what it does is we look at your database and say look uh, it will ignore numbers is there any text that you specified if there's a text text like uh, your names your descriptions so if you specify that that particular text that you're actually looking for the the sales rules we highlight that particular cells that contains that rules so if i highlight from let's say from your product to your date and you want to use text then text that contain you go to your conditional formatting under the style under your style panel then you go to your um to your you can see here your text that contain so under the text that contain let's assume that you just, just want to specify the text i'm actually looking for i'm looking for cook cook go into the database and find me how many cooks do we have and i like that particular you see it's our light we have two cooks you can see how the system the rules can identify what we are actually looking for and you can see that it is only looking for text if you only put uh if you want to use this rule text that contains uh if you want to use these rules these rules you cannot use these rules for your numbers you will not specify anything because you can see here even if you put cooks here because you haven't highlighted you will not you can see it wouldn't work with numbers you only work with references or text that's inside a cell so this is how to use um, uh, text that contain uh, sales rules uh, in excel so let's clear these rules again uh, we're going to clear these rules then let's look at the we have two more to go uh, the a date occurring uh, these rules only pick up dates ignore numbers ignore text you only look at for dates there's no date in your database nothing is highlighted so now what if now if you highlight from here down and you look at any day that is occurring so you go to your conditional panel under the style panel under the highlight sales rules go to the date containing yeah it's looking at is it today you want to look at is it yesterday is it today so if you have any date that is yesterday you pick up yesterday date if you have any day that's today we are live today if you have any day for tomorrow if you are last last week um this week next month uh next month if you click next month you see you said there's no date next month imagine if i change this one to to the second 2023 
You see? Because he knows that this is a next month date. If I change this one again to the same month, um, second, which is 20. So it's telling you what it's trying to count. It's counting from that date. And because this is more than a month. So imagine if I change this one to January. see so this is how to pick up a date next month because it is next month date so if you go back to the same rules date occurring if you put back to today's date today's date there's no today's date let's assume that um, um, you change this date to 29 2023 see change it immediately to the same day so this is how you can use uh put a rules that are relating to date occurring as a sales rules in excel so uh, and the last one which is uh, most also very very important uh, which a lot of people always use in accounting especially when you want to uh, check in where we have a duplicate uh, values a duplicate values we look at numbers we will look at reference you will look at arrays, you will look at uh, uh, a text and see from the database which one of these cells contain the same amount. So if you highlight all of them and you want to test to see which one of the cells contain the same duplicate amount, go to duplicate and you click highlight. See, it's telling you we have duplicate waste and it's true. We have large, we have duplicate. We have duplicate uh, wallet, which is also the same. We have Bexet, duplicate. We have Cook 500. We have duplicate. So this is how to use a duplicate uh, sales rules in Excel when you are doing a conditional formatting in Excel. So hope you guys enjoy this short training and I will see you in the next training. Have a great day. Bye for now.